Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther, and today we're gonna check it out some buttons made out of glass in Photoshop. So the first thing I'm gonna show you the size of the artboard. So the main idea is to be on 2000 by 2000, at least to be the high 2000. And now we're gonna go to the rectangle, select the rectangle, press and hold shift and create a perfect rectangle. And now as you can see, we got these three little circles at the cor corner of the rectangle. And now I'm just gonna pull it. And as you can see, it's gonna make the corners around it. From here, we're gonna go to the layers. I'm gonna double click on the rectangle that we created. And we're gonna decrease the fill opacity to zero. Now I'm gonna check the bevel and emboss. Make sure that the style is an inner bevel. Technique is smooth. We're gonna increase the depth to 334, something like that, 330. I'm gonna decrease the size and the softness to one. Angle is pretty good. I'm gonna decrease altitude somewhere, let me check, 17. And we're gonna change the gloss contour to this one right here. Now I'm gonna also need to change the stark area. So this is the shadow here, the multiply. So this is the shadow mode here. I can just gonna change this to white and I can change from multiply to a linear dodge. As you can see, it highlighted this area. I gotta do the same thing with the highlight mode, change it to linear dodge. So it starts to become more and more glassy. I gotta decrease on the highlight, the opacity, so around 45. Let me increase the shadow. I gotta go and select the inner shadow the inner shadow in our case is going to be in this area and it's going to be white. So this is going to be the glowing part. So I'm going to change it to white. Click OK. Here we're going to need to change the blend mode to linear dodge. The opacity should be somewhere around 15 or lower. Let's go up with the distance. It's good at 30 something. I can increase also the choke so it's going to be stronger. And let me check the size. This is good. We're going to go to the inner glow and the inner glow is going to be black. Click OK. Let me check the opacity. And we're going to need to change the blend mode to linear burn. And now you can see it starts to add some shadows round and round. I'm going to check the opacity, decrease it to around 45. The size. 57. Now we're going to check the gradient overlay. We're going to change the blend mode to soft light. Like it's good at somewhere around 60 something, 65. Now we're going to click on the drop shadow and we're going to need to decrease it. At least the opacity to become more soft. Distance, reduce it. Under 10 at least. Spread to zero. Size, so around 20, 38, something, 35. Click OK. And this is how we make a glass button in Photoshop. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can notify with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.